From leaky pipes to bulging ceilings, families who live in public housing in Durham say they are fed up with what they're calling unlivable conditions. Since December 2019, CBS 17 has covered stories on problems with water coming from the ceilings at McDougal Terrace. That same week, families there were evacuated due to the carbon monoxide crisis. And just last month, there were more than more issues with water leaking from ceilings at McDougal. And now families at Hoover Road and scattering sites are also complaining. CBS 17's Crystal Price is getting answers tonight. She joins us live from Hoover Road Housing Complex. Crystal, what issues are those families dealing with? Well, they're dealing with everything from leaky pipes to rats. If you'll take a look here, you can see there are several rat traps like this set up outside of buildings here at Hoover Road. Inside, these families are dealing with bulging ceilings and heat that doesn't always work. So what's taking, long, what's taking so long to fix all of these problems? Today, I went to the Durham Housing Authority to find out. The ceiling's cracking and stuff, and they just come and splatter. Arlene Webster shows us her apartment in the Scattered Sites community in East Durham, where the pipes under her kitchen sink leak water all over her pots and pans, and their stove overheats and catches on fire when they try to cook. I'm not trying to live rich. I just want to live comfortable. Webster says they've had these problems for months. They put in work orders, but nothing has been done. They say they're going to do this, so I got the order in. You don't see nobody. I want housing authority to come to their do do their job. I called the Durham Housing Authority CEO Anthony Scott. He didn't respond to my request for a Zoom interview today, but he did tell me through text on Sunday that given the age of most of their properties, numerous work orders are generated on a daily basis. He also says the highest priority is placed on issues that present a health or safety risk. Scott says they have gotten further behind on completing the work orders due to COVID-19 delays earlier in the year. He says they have brought on additional staff to address the backlog and there's also an effort to hire contractors. Somebody need to help us. Meanwhile, families like the Webster's continue to live here and wait for something to be done. It's very frustrating. I see and I cry sometimes to myself. You know, it's just hard. Now, I did ask the Durham Housing Authority how many work orders have yet to be completed, but I'm still waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Crystal, thank you.